Hello, this is X Factor Legend Wagner, and I'd like to welcome you all to the Just J Club YouTube channel, home of the best Grand Theft Auto content. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK, and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be building the 1972 Ford Gran Torino Sport from the Fast and the Furious 4. Now, as you can see, we're going to be using the Decalasse Tulip for this build. It is very, very similar to a Ford Gran Torino from real life. The body shape is pretty much spot on. The only downside to it is this front grille um, because the one from the movie that we were trying to replicate now has quad headlights and it has more of an oval grille in the center rather than this sort of like full face grille. Um, but other than that, man, it is pretty much identical to a full Gran Torino. Take away the grille, it is perfect. So without any further ado, we're gonna crack on with this build with 100% body armor. Then we're gonna go to the brakes. We're gonna get the race brakes for the bumper, front bumper. And we're gonna go with this low level splitter mainly because it That's removes the front right license there. plate and for the rear bumper we are going to stay stock. So next we're going to go to the exhaust. We currently have a side exit exhaust and that's what we need for this build. Uh, so unless there's you know, a double piped side exhaust we're going to have to stay stock. Which I don't think there is. This is the only other side exhaust and it is definitely not what we need. This is more like what we need so again we're going to have to stay stock. Then we're going to move on to the hood. We need uh, some sort of scoop, very small scoop if we can get one. I'm hoping we can get one because on oh my days, they, that is huge. We do not need anything that big. So hopefully we can get a smaller scoop. It doesn't look like we can. So the next best thing will be this bad boy, the dual intake. Next we've got the lights. We're going to go headlights and persons to Xeon headlights. Next we're going to move on to the respray. We're going to go primary color to start. And we're going to go get a metallic. And we're going to need a green for this. I believe it's going to be a race green, but I'll let you know when I get there. Yeah, so there we go, my dudes. We're going to go with the metallic race green for the primary color. And also, we're going to go into secondary, go into metallic and grab racing green. My bad, guys. I've just seen that the secondary color changes everything. The grill, the bumper, the trim, <laughs> the wing mirrors. And uh, we don't want any of that. We definitely want chrome bumpers for this. So secondary color is going to have to stay chrome. Then it brings us down to the suspension. Um, on this bad boy, we don't want to slam it, I don't think. I think race suspension's a little bit too low. I think the uh, the sport suspension is adequate enough. So we're gonna go with that bad boy. Then obviously we're gonna get the super transmission and the turbo tuner. And for the wheels, guys, we're gonna go into wheel type and this is gonna be in the sport category, I wanna say. Nope, I stand corrected once again. You wanna go into the SUV category. And you want to go and purchase some of these Obey RS rims. And then once you've purchased them, you want to go into the wheel colour and change them to alloy. Alternatively, you could have them in chrome. I think they'd look pretty sweet in chrome. But because I'm in story mode, um, chrome is unavailable to me for the wheels. So I'm just going to go with the alloy. I think they just they look adequate enough for me. I think they still look cool, man. But if you're online and you've got the option for chrome, definitely grab chrome. Once we're here guys, you might as well jump into tyres and purchase the bulletproof tyres. And to finish the build off, as always, we're going to go into windows and purchase the light smoke window tin. Now I know this isn't a dead ringer, like I said before, the standout from this car entirely is that front end. If it had quad headlights and an oval grille, this would be perfect, you know. And also we're missing the white stripe livery across the side of the car. But I can see past that because the overall look and the overall shape of this car it's pretty much spot on, man. It's, it's insane. It is really good. Even the grill is actually worked. Um, sorry, not the grill. Even the hood has worked out a lot better than what I initially thought. Um, but like I said already, if if the headlights and the overall grill was there and there was a white stripe along the side of the car, this would be perfect, man. But I'm overly happy with the way this has turned out. So if you guys enjoy this video, or if it helped you out in any kind of way, or even if you're going to go along and build this yourselves, hit a like, make sure you subscribe, and until next time, I'm out. Adios.